Hello, my friends, it's your friend Kevin, and today is Tuesday, the uh, 19th of September, 2023. I'm happy to be here. Welcome, 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 new subscribers and existing subscribers and friends of the channel. Let's get on with the card of the day. <music> Right, so we are using uh, Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, um, and the images by Lily Moses. Uh, this week we are working with our um, balance card. In traditional tarot, this is known as temperance, uh, and Archangel Zadkiel is what Radley Valentine chose as the Archangel representing balance. Archangel Zadkiel is known as um, the righteousness of God one that brings balance, which is why um, Radley Valentine renamed this because it was easier for folks to understand. Um, here we see Archangel Raziel, not in any great hurry, uh, one foot in the water, one foot on the ground. That's the inner and outer perceptions. Uh, and around the waist, we've got a little, almost like a, a, a charm. Um, and then of course, He's in a um, a bed of irises. So really, it's all about um, inner and outer perceptions, moving one thing to another, shifting back and forth, but not making any rational or big um, choices uh, or impulses. That's what I want to say. My isms are my thoughts turn into things of beauty all the time. We should be having positive thoughts. We should be having uplifting thoughts. We should be having hopeful thoughts. And then I did another little gratitude. Thank you, universe, for, for providing more than plenty to nourish my life and help others. We're being nourished. And then we help others nourish themselves, either by showing them how to do it or just giving them a helping hand. All right, let's get on with shuffling and see how all this plays in. Great Father in the sky, loving Mother in the earth, angels, ancestors, keepers of the light, from all realms and all four corners, I thank you for being with us today, bringing us a message. Well, here's two. I set the intention to see, to feel, to hear, and to know your sacred words, and to deliver a message in such a way as to enlighten, to inspire, and to heal. Thank you for these two cards. So be it, so shall it be. Okay, I want to finish that prayer so we don't just go off half. Um, okay, so we've got three cards here. Make sure there's not four. Um, no particular order. I'm going to read them as a combo, even though I'm not really sure which one was first and second. Doesn't matter. Um, <gasps> ooh. So as we know, Canunus is about the life force energy that works within us, that passion. Um, it's a driving passion. It's a feeling of I've got to do this no matter what. That's what we should be getting in touch with. Very earthy, very potent. Really also talking about sexual expression, but sexual expression it's not just the act of sexual expression. Of course, that's truly important. But it also digs into our passions. What are we passionate about? What turns us on? What really makes us churn? We also have Mary Magdalene. Now, Mary Magdalene is known as a teacher. And she's known as the one who brings knowledge and wisdom from spirit and delivers them or delivers the knowledge to others in a loving, kind way. Um, I often associate Mary Magdalene with the Archangel Jophiel, uh, who just brings beauty and just brings love and just brings those good, wonderful feelings to earth. Uh, the card's basically saying you have something important to share. Follow your inner call and don't let anything stop you. So with Archangel Zadkiel being the righteousness of God, and in my mind, 
Mary Magdalene being the teacher of God, bringing all spiritual teachings and wisdom from spirit. And then the life force, which is us represented in a physical form. This is truly all about balancing. It's all about having those beautiful passion filled thoughts to move forward, but not moving forward impulsively, thinking of ways in which we can be of service to ourselves. What can we learn and what can we share and what can we teach and how do they all play out? I believe that today's energy may be digging into the things that light us up, digging into the subject matter with which we are crazy about, which we are interesting in, interested in, um, not so much making rash, big, huge uh, gestures, but more of a way of using what we already have on the inside um, to express ourselves outwardly. Um, there is definitely a life force within all of us that has the need to share. Uh, and I'll say personally, when I've looked at um, your comments uh, in below each card of the day, they are quite beautiful. And for those of you who do comment or are on the channel who look, read some of the comments from some of our basically co-subscribers. Uh, they're brilliant. Many are uh, of the light, uh, are, are incredible spiritual teachers themselves who offer something um, and give a different take on it, which I absolutely love. Uh, I love hearing and seeing how these cards and how these messages work for you in your own lives, because it it's what we're all about doing. It's all about the fact that we are all spiritual beings, have a human experience. And in that human experience, we're able to meld the two together. See, I love what Zadkiel's doing here with the goblet. He's moving uh, one water from one to the other, to the other, to the other, making sure things are in perfect balance and perfect harmony. I'm asking and pausing to see if there's anything else I need to ask. Uh, one of my angels and spirits is saying that getting in force with a life force, pushing forward with your passions, using that sexual, sensual energy is perfect, providing it's done in a loving way. Um, you know, I always think of this card as a very earthy card. Um, if I get it closer there, I always feel like Cununus is basically about sowing seeds and regenerating, uh, repurposing, um, uh, being very kind to the earth, being very grounded in the earth. I mean, expressing yourself outwardly, inwardly, in any which way you can. But this is all about artistic expression that comes from the deepest part of ourselves, the basal chakras, um, you know, the uh, second chakra, which which works with the color of orange, that earthy color is uh, the reproductive organs. And it's, it's not so much the act of sex, but it's reproducing what we came energetically to do to express ourselves in that way. Um, and then Mary Magdalene um, is sort of saying, you have this passion, you have this voice, you have this idea. Zach, you're saying, get with your people that get you. Get with the people that want to share those things with you and uh, join forces. If you've got something to offer, if you are a teacher or you're looking to share your knowledge and your wisdom with other people, remember, it's your duty to do it because people want to hear it. Um, and I think that's it. I'm asking if there's anything else. Nope. All right, my friends, thanks so much. I really, really appreciate you for watching, for subscribing. We are growing this channel and we're going to get there. All my love. Till tomorrow. Bye.